Hi everybody, um, very quick video today. Um, I've been working on a I've been working on a, um, a hedge reduction and this saw my 230 has been constantly throwing the chain. And even when, I, even when I've been tightening um, tightening the chain up, it's still been throwing a chain. Now, this isn't just inconvenient. It's actually quite um, it's actually quite bad news. Um, let's have a look. See if I can find this. When when you actually throw a chain, it damages the actual drive links. Can you see there? Can you see that? Get a bit closer. Where are we? Can you focus? Not focusing very well. Hold on. There we are. Do you see that there next to my wedding ring? That is actually um, a damaged and chipped tooth. There's another one there. And you can actually feel these, they're raised. And what that does is it basically destroys the rails on your bar. And so when you throw a chain, you've either got to spend a lot of time filing these down or you've got to throw the chain away. So it's not something you want to be doing a lot. But this just kept happening. I went through three chains. The chains just kept falling off. Um, and I, I had an investigation of what was going on. Obviously, there's lots of muck underneath, which I've cleaned off now. And everything looked, everything looked perfectly. Everything looked perfectly normal. Um, and it took me a little while to actually realise that um, I'm actually missing something here. Something's fallen off the saw. And what we have here, let's lift, lift this up. This thing here, this is like a bumper, like a plastic bumper. And what it does is it actually stops the chain from vibrating side to side as it, um, as it joins the bar. And there should be another one there, and there isn't. Now, I think what's happened, um, a day or so earlier, I was actually... Um, I was using this saw, so just cutting off firewood, and I changed the chain, and I didn't actually tighten the nuts up properly, and um, the actual uh, the actual cover came loose, and I threw the chain, and I think when I've been swapping the chain over, I've knocked this missing plastic bumper out, and that's it. The innocuous little parts only cost, only cost a couple of quid, a couple of dollars. Um, very easy to fit. There we go. That's it. That's where it lives. Um, what a what a strange thing. Eh? I could not figure out why. I could not figure out why I kept losing chains. I just kept throwing them. No matter how I was trying to tighten, no matter how much I was turning that little screw, it um, it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't stop doing it. And you see here, you see the purpose, um, the purpose of these, they actually um, stop the chain from um, moving side to side. So there's a little bit there where, where the chain will move, but these things here, so unimportant looking, but very important in reality so there we go just thought i'd share that little one with you a very short rather boring video let's just tighten back up i actually passed um i actually passed uh, 2800 subscribers recently thank you very much for that Slack, let's tighten it up a little more. Still a bit slack. Remember my other chainsaw video where I'm saying <laughs> don't um, don't over tighten your chain. That's good, that'll loosen up once I start running it. Problem solved. Thanks for watching. A not very interesting video. 
Not very glamorous, but very useful. Put the chainsaw maintenance tip. You know what? That's too tight. There we go. Perfect. I just want to make sure I tighten this up properly. Nothing as embarrassing as having yet. You're covering us fall off. Thanks for watching. Um, if anybody has any um, any ideas for any videos, anything you'd like to see me do, please just drop them in the comments. We're coming to winter now. We are tend to move back into forestry again. Um, and I tend to find that I've got these long dog evenings where I've got nothing to do except mess about with chainsaws. So, so there we go. Thanks for your time. Catch you later.